Hello, my friends. I have something fun today, a quiz. A quiz with three questions about the moon's mean node, and the answer to these questions is true or false, or it could be something like partly true or mostly true or partly false, mostly false, or maybe your answer is it depends on how you define the terms. True-false questions about things that are commonly said about the moon's mean node, and let's see what the answer is. So this should be fun. Here's our first question. The mean node was the node that was used in ancient times by astrologers in both East and West. And the concept of a true node was introduced in the 20th century. So this is fairly common knowledge that in ancient Vedic astrology and Hellenistic and medieval astrology, all these traditions, people used the mean node and the true node was introduced in the latter part of the 20th century. This is well-established idea in astrology, but is it really true? What do you think? I'll give you a second to think about it. The answer is, it's actually false. In March 2021, researchers found that the Antikythera mechanism, if you're not familiar with it, you can Google it and, and learn about it. It was a device created around 200 to 50 BC. It was a bronze contraption that they built, and it calculated where the planets are. It also, what they found out in March 2021 by analyzing it more carefully, it also calculated where the moon's node is. And this calculation of the planets and the moon's node varied in speed. It did not calculate a moon's node that has almost a perfect retrograde speed. So it is false. that <laughs> It was universally just a mean node. No, they calculated very similar to the way the planets were calculated with varying speed. Whoa, so that's interesting. All right. Question number two. The only time that the moon's node position is completely 100% certain is when the moon has a latitude of zero. And this happens about twice a month. Or in other words, about every two weeks, the moon would have a latitude of zero. And at this moment, every two weeks is the only time with complete certainty that we can verify where the moon's node is. Now this you may be less familiar with because it only comes up when there's a technical discussion about the nodes and whether we should use them, the mean node or true node. So is it correct? Is it correct, true or false? The answer is partly true. The reason it's partly true is if you take this question very literally, like 100%, absolutely no doubt whatsoever, then it's true. The answer would be true that the only time you can confirm where the node is, is at this moment, every two weeks when the moon has zero latitude, by definition, that moon position, when the moon has zero latitude, it must be exactly conjunct the north node or south node. And I think everybody, I don't think there's a single exception, everybody who's trained in both astrology and astronomy agrees with that. Now, what about the whole rest of the time, other than that moment every two weeks when the moon has zero latitude, can we determine where the moon's node is? Popular opinion is that we cannot. However, making a very, 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 very reasonable assumption, actually we can. And this is a new insight that if you think about it, you could calculate the moon's position one minute apart and see what the path of the moon is and see where that path intersects the ecliptic plane. And it ha you can do all this. I've done it. I, and it wasn't done previously, but recently it's been done. And it confirms that the actual node where you observe it is where the true node is. Um, okay, so with that reasonable assumption, you... You can determine where the, the moon's node is at any time, contrary to what is often said. Okay, so our answer there is partly true. Now, this third question is, and this gets a little more to the heart of the controversy between mean and true node, is that given what I just said, that with 100% absolute confidence, 
We only know where the moon's node is at a moment about every two weeks, but at least we can confirm it then. I believe everybody without exception who's trained in astronomy and astrology agrees with that. Then it's often said that at that moment, when, when we can confirm where the node is, both the mean node and true node are the same and they're correct, and therefore we don't know whether the mean node or the true node is the right node, because the only time we can verify it, they agree and they're both accurate. This is often stated in discussions um, about the accuracy of the mean node and true node. Now, is that statement true or false? Because this is a big one in terms of, you might say, the, the validity or reasonableness of the mean node and true node. Is this statement that uh, true or false? The answer is it's false. The moon is not actually conjunct the mean node. You know, it's not conjunct the, the mean north node or the mean south node when the moon has no latitude. That contradicts our definition of what the moon's node is. So amazingly, the mean node does not meet our definition of what the node is. It doesn't match. It's very surprising and shocking. Um, but then again, you know, a lot of astrologers are not trained in the astronomy or haven't, you know, verified it. We've just assumed somebody else verified it. So there's the answer. It's false. So I hope you found those three questions um, interesting and informative. I have a fourth question for you. It's not directly about the, um, the nose, but it's a question about this uh, fact check. And the statement is that these three things I just reviewed are really not facts. They're just my opinions. They're just David's opinions. It's this, and this whole little video is not really a fact check. Uh, you know, think about it. Most astrologers don't agree with the answers I just gave. And in astrology, you cannot say what's correct or incorrect. And, you know, there's different viewpoints. So it's, a, it's an exaggeration that to call this a fact check. Is that true or false? I had to give some kind of name to this video. Did maybe I exaggerate a, a little bit by calling this a fact check? And that these are definitive, clear answers that I gave. True or false, this statement is false. Because everything I've said is a fact. It's a fact about the Antikythera um, mechanism and where the planet, everything I just said is, they're not debatable opinions. They are facts about what's happening now. This is important. Some of these facts were recently discovered. So they are not known to everyone. And even people trained in both astronomy and astrology may not be aware of these latest findings uh, that are involved in some of the answers that I gave. So it doesn't mean if somebody didn't get all the answers right, they don't know what they're talking about. There's been developments and you know, new information and greater clarity about what's going on that wasn't always available. So there you have it, my friends. And let me just add a little footnote that there's a lot more information behind this little quiz. I've made a series of videos, like hours of videos, about the mean node and true node. There's a lot of technical detail and information behind this. And this video follows a video I made about a week ago that gives some more information about the mean node and true node. And if you want to get into all the details of this and understand it, I have extensive information at astrologydc.com that you have to subscribe to, but here for free on YouTube. I'm making some of the main points available to everyone. Okay, uh, thank you very much for listening, my friends. God bless. Namaste.